Hello artists, today we are going to make some self-portraits inspired by Romero Brito. Self-portrait would be a picture of yourself. Of course, we are going to take some creative liberties with it. You'll have newspaper and a piece of white paper. It needs to be vertical or portrait view. Name on your paper. Corner is good. And get your class on there. And hide your name. Next, we will have a little plastic rectangle, and this is going to be our cheat sheet, sort of, to make sure things end up being the right size on your paper. I don't want to see a bunch of miniature people or people that end up way too large for the space. So what we're going to do is take this little rectangle, make sure it is vertical, make it touch the top of your paper, and then lightly draw a line with your pencil. So I've got one line. This is the same size as my rectangle. Next, turn it horizontally. Make it touch that pencil line. Draw a light line. One more time. Take the rectangle. Make it vertical again. Make it touch the pencil line. Draw a line. You're probably wondering why we have all these. These are what you call guidelines, so we know where things need to end up. This line will be the bottom of your chin. This line will be your waist. This line will be the bottom of your feet. And they don't necessarily have to touch exactly here because they could be in other positions. Most of Brito's people have a triangle for a chin. He does have one that has a curve for a chin. So you pick which kind of chin suits your face best. And I'm gonna make sure it's starting on this pencil line. So there is my chin. And then the sides of the face will go up. Where we go from this point kind of depends on, you know, what kind of hair do you have. Do not color it in with the Sharpie. We are drawing shapes right now. All right, if we look at noses, Romero has a few styles of noses. Like here, the noses are just two dots or if we look here it's almost like a backwards l shape with a little bump at the end for the nostril so you decide what kind of nose suits you best so i've got the l shape little bump for my nostril then for eyeballs are they smiling eyes that are shut are they eyes that are big and open then after this point, you have to decide, are you going to have a neck showing or no neck showing? I want my neck showing. So I'm gonna have two lines coming down. Remember, this is the waist on the person. That's what you call the waist line. I think I'm gonna have my person wearing my paint apron like I usually do. you figure out how are they standing is it feet together feet apart are they dancing are they doing a little jig next mission erase the pencil lines so we don't need them anymore and we're going to break up the background decide where your person is going to be so I think mine is going to be in an art room Whatever you choose to put in your background, keep it simple. We don't need to get too tiny. We don't need to get too super specific. I have enough we can tell. I'm in a room and I'm calling it a classroom and I'm leaving it at that. We don't see words anywhere, not putting any words anywhere. 